guess we can start this video now. Just rolled up to autocross, our first one since moving to San Antonio. Still living in a hotel. I wanted to go and get my car washed this morning, but we went and bought a bed set last night. Didn't get my home till midnight. Woke up with no power in the room, and then uh, had to go put all this stuff in storage. We can get the trailer back today. Anyway, we're here. Holy shit, there is so many cars. This is crazy. And it's gonna be the, uh, whatchamacallit today, with the, the sun and the moon and stuff. Wow. God, it's just crazy. There's a little, little Alpha over there. Sub? Saab? Subarus? A couple dubs? Mustang with a wing? And a little truck. Wow. This will be exciting. Excuse the wind, but we're about midway through this walk. And I'll put the course map up. This is, there's so much space for activity. It doesn't seem so com too confusing yet, but we'll see how this last bit looks. Here we are, my nice dirty car. I didn't get a chance to wash her this morning and I forgot to get my letters out of storage. So here we are, uh, some red tape, pretty cloudy. Don't think we're gonna see much of a, uh, an eclipse today, but I'm getting line, get the trans warmed up. It's like 68 degrees. So it's a good day for, you know, not sweating your butt off, but uh, we'll see how that affects tires, which I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a good, good day. Definitely a good first first san antonio autocross but uh 51 drivers in this group and uh it seems like it takes about an hour to get through it so we got plenty of time to cool the tires off and spray things down and whatnot all right here is oh porsche a bunch of these cars so i'm in the extreme See, there's an extreme any car with an x X access A. Okay, put that on there
Rockwell, Pittman just leaving the line in the Subaru Outback. Casey Cummings in the Civic, 56.870. Cummings currently in 14th position in novice. Gareth Tran in the Ford Mustang, 51.313, plus one cone. Gareth running in doubles class. Your packs doesn't count in doubles class. Donovan Stockwell will be the next to finish. We're hearing cone calls on Stockwell. Donovan Stockwell crossed the line in the Mazda Miata 55.719. Currently holding on to ninth position in novice. Tucker Pittman will be the next to finish in the Subaru Outback. Tucker Pittman 57.449. Improves by 13 positions to 10th in novice. On course right now, the mystery driver in the Audi, Lucas Blanco and Chris Meacham. So that was technically run number two, but I think it don't, I think it counts as my, my first run, but um, instead of 50 point whatever, as you guys can see in the video, I, I really messed up. So that, that's probably two seconds alone had I not came in so hot there. So um, definitely some room for improvement, especially off the beginning. The car is getting a little happy. I need a little bit more. I probably took a little too much air pressure out, expecting it to get more heat in the first lap. And there's so much time between laps. There's 51 drivers in this group. So I got to keep that in mind for next time. I thought the temperature would rise too. It's still, my dash is reading 66 degrees. I thought it would be like mid seventies by now, which would make a huge difference on how much uh, temperature gets into the tires during a lap. but. Yeah, that was 50, 50, it was really good. And I think the best so far is like a 46.8 and a, it's a C5 Z06, so good stuff. Time of the day. line 53.767 best time of the day but still third position in STH on course right now Claremont the mystery uh, XS driver and Monko. Chris Meacham just leaving the line Michael Martin's pulling up Tim Claremont in the Civic, 59.374. It is Tim's best time of the day. Improves three positions to 19th in novice. We're on a 20 minute break. And, oh wow, even like this, you can't really see. If I bring the brightness down a little bit, bear with me. Well, I can't get a good picture or video, but if you have the glasses, you can like put the glasses in front of your phone like that guy's doing and get a decent clip, but yeah, it looks kind of funny. The shadows over here look kind of trippy.
enjoyed the clips of the runs. It was definitely nice breaking the rust off. I haven't raced in a few months. I haven't raced in Texas in a long time. So, um, yeah, I was out here a little nervous. I, I must have like heat cycled, heat cycled, heat cycled the shit out of these tires because they do not want to grip at all. Like even down to like 22 pounds launching, I'm spinning. Like the rear end's kicking out and everything. So I don't know. Maybe these tires just been through too much cold, too much hot. I was barely like this thing was squirrely as hell out here. And I do, I do have some toe out in the rear that I need to get rid of now. And uh, of course, I still need coilovers and a front sway bar. But all in time, uh, brakes are probably up next because they are taking a beating. Um, Patrick getting pretty low, but all around great day, a lot of fun for like thirty bucks to to race out here. I think it's like like closer to fifty in Virginia, and that's without a membership. If I bought a membership, um, it'd be even cheaper than that. So. Anyway, it was a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Got a couple outside clips from the homies. Shout out to y'all. A bunch of the Audi guys came by and uh, was, was rooting me on and, and cheering me on. It was really cool. It was really awesome. I uh, wish I would record a little bit more between laps, but I was so focused on trying to, to watch other people's lines and chatting with some of the Audi guys. And whew, feels nice to get out and just be able to race, though. Like, not worrying about cops, not worrying about shit. Just go out here and and have fun and focus on becoming a better driver. I still need a lot more seat time in this car, but it is what it is. Well, I just went on the site to see if they updated times. I went and talked to the guy who runs the event. I was like, hey man, like on, on the sheet they printed out in the morning, and taped to the trailer, it says my name, my class, my car, everything's there. And they would like call it out after uh, my run, I'm like unnamed Audi driver, blah, blah, blah. And I, I hear, heard a 49 once, I heard 50 a couple times. And I don't, I have no idea what my first run was, which I think was my best run actually. And uh, here we go, as you guys just see, um, they don't have any times for me, it says do not start, pretty upset. Um, Maybe I can get them to fix that if they still have the times or I don't know, maybe they'll give me a voucher for next time and run for free since I don't get any times. Like what? <laughs> that really sucks. Um, yeah.